Hey guys, so today we're going to play a version of Jeskai Ephemerate. Um, this guy recently, Huzen, recently 5 0 with this list. And the reason why this list is so interesting to me is because it runs three Cleansing Fire main deck, which sounds super sweet. Uh, they play a little bit more control than mid range compared to like other Ephemerate decks who are kind of like a pressure, applying pressure at some points. Uh, they don't run a lot of early removal other than like fire and ice and a braid, but to slow down uh, attack decks, they run uh, Stonehorn Dignitaries, which means you are playing a little bit more like the Tron decks would. Other than that, um, yeah, this deck is sweet. Uh, like I said, main deck Cleansing Fire, you got your Breath of Life to bring your creature back from the graveyard, you got a bunch of counter spells, you got a bunch of draw cards with like Brainstorm... And the creatures are draw cards. Archaea Master to get back the Ephemerate. Uh, just a lot of do interesting stuff you can do. Uh, fire and Ice. And another interesting part is because Cleansing Fire replaces itself. Like, you you can attack their land early as well as it draws you a card. Bonders Ornaments, of course. Light of Hope, which is kind of, uh, Light of Hope, which is kind of like a catch-all. Uh, just a lot of interesting interactions. We're going to play a league with it. Uh, if I do bad in the league, please don't judge me. You know, it's the first time playing this specific deck, and I don't play Ephemerate decks all that often. But I think I'll do pretty well. So we'll see. Um, I'll see you guys in match one. Please like and subscribe if you have not yet. It helps out the channel immensely. And you guys are all awesome. All right. Yes, we would like to play first. Mulligan. Keep, get rid of this. Playland, preordain, bottom, top. Playing against, could be Atog, could be Boros. Play this. You know the bird affinity that's gotten a lot more popular lately? Could be that. I think it's, I mean, it's most likely Boros then. Uh, play Bonner's Ornament last turn. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think it's Boros. Makes the most sense. All right, so let's go land. Go Bonder's Ornament, play the Oracle. We'll take Breath of Life because this Mold Drifter will probably die, but then we can bring it back. And that seems like a winning strategy for this matchup. To draw a bunch of cards. Yeah, it's definitely borrowed. He, it looked like he missed the land drop. Lightning bolt, sure. Like I said, we are we planned on that happening. Um, I'm just gonna play the Ash Barons, and I'm gonna take away a land pretty much. <laughs> that seems great to me. All right, sounds good with me. Okay, so he cycles a Forgotten Cave, sure. We'll take another one. He plays another Supplies. Plays that. That seems all fine so far. Uh, I think we just go Mold Drifter. And... Play Thriving Isle for red and keep up counter spell. He just scoops after that. Okay, all right. Um, so we like Hydro Blast and Dispel, right? Light of Hope's actually not that bad. Thornhorn Dignitary is probably not needed. As much. 
Fire and Ice is probably pretty bad too. You could probably bring in... I mean, I like Light of Hope for the fact that they have Journey of Nowheres, right? Hydro Blast and Pyro uh, Blast hits their red spells. We could bring in Lone Missionary to possibly gain life, but I don't think that's the best use. And I do like Cleansing Fires for his uh, Bounce Line. And they replace themselves. So I think I'm going to keep it like that. Could be wrong, but uh, that's the way we're going to do it. We're going to keep... We're going to go in on this uh, Cleansing Fire plan. And... We don't even have to worry. We can do both. We can either have counter spell up or cleansing fire if he goes for a bounce land. I like counter spell now because he didn't play bounce land. So we'll, we'll do the counter spell. We'll take two, sure. Um, I think I might counter that actually. And then we'll get rid of that, like I said. Sending fire on this. Play this for a white. He attacks us for two or for one. We're gonna play a preordain, see what we can go find. Uh I like counter spell. We'll put bottom and we'll put top. Play this. Um I think we just go get islands at this point, right? He cracks his clue, sure. We'll take one again. He gains some life, sure. Go get a blue spell. Um, yeah, we'll just play that. Bring them back to land. Keep hitting our land drops. Taking one damage a turn seems pretty good. Pretty good idea for me. Uh, we're going to use this to gain 4 life, by the way. Why do I have a feeling that he has a Pyroblast? Because he does. Okay. We'll definitely go Moldrifter, right? Cast. Draw. We'll keep up Ephemerate to use if he goes to bolt this guy. Sure. Uh, we'll take the two. Sure. Play this to be able to block. All right. Uh, that's perfectly fine with us because now we can light a hope it and not have to worry about getting Bolton response. Thanks for the free two cards, buddy. Or well, not free, but thanks for the two cards, buddy. Then he pyroblast it. Okay. Uh, I mean, this is great for us. Maybe. The Oracle. A counter spell. Play a land. Uh, we'll pick white. Uh, we are going to discard most likely the fire and ice. Seems pretty good. Okay, plays that. Sure. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that. Counterspell. Okay. All right, um, we play land, right? We go for the old drifter with double ephemerate up. Seems pretty good. He draws a card, okay. With even with him having the monarch, we've been done a really good job of uh staying ahead in card advantage. At least for the moment. Okay. 
Okay. Well, we're definitely going to just upbraid this guy, right? All right, so we'll upbraid this guy. We're trying to keep them at bay. Uh, we will go for it. Uh, I don't think we need to draw that many cards. So I'm just going to do that one. Uh, I do like Bonner's Ornament over Moldrifter. Play an island. Play the Bonner's Ornament. Uh, brainstorm. These two pass turn to them. Red, blue, fire this guy. Poor Skyfisher. That is annoying, but sure. Okay. All right, well, since he's tapped out, we'll go Femurate on this to see if we can find a counter spell. And play this. All right, pass turn. Uh, that way. All right, so we'll cycle, we'll get a red. Play it. Cam answer. Go get a braid. Use a braid. Deal three damage to this guy. Uh, we're probably just gonna discard the sea oracle, I guess, because I want to be able to hit a land next turn. I like Dispel and Ephemerate and Hydroblast. Uh, not a huge fan of that, so we're going to counter that spell. Play Spare Supplies, sure. Plays Prophetic Prism, sure. Tracks the token, sure. Okay. All right, well, let's let's open up our draws first. Okay, so we are gonna go our cam answer again for hydroblast again. Then we're going to ephemerate, right? Getting ourselves counter spell. Then pass turn to them. All right, we will get ephemerate back. Draw, play an island. We will cleansing wildfire this. We will play this. We will pass turn to them. He gains a life, sure. We go for Ephemerate. Get ourselves a Braid. A Braid that creature. They draw a card. 
We'll ephemerate. Get back ephemerate. Draw a card. We'll pick red. We'll ephemerate again. I'll get another ephemerate. Ephemerate again. We'll get another ephemerate. Ephemerate one more time. We'll get cleansing wildfire. Use cleansing wildfire on this land. We will just play, well we can't just play it yet, but we'll play that next turn. And he just scoops. All right, I'll see you guys in the next match. All right, uh, we will keep this hands fine. Colony Garden, sure. So this makes me feel like it's Boggles. I mean, could be Infect, but I think it's Boggles, right? Yeah, so there we go. It looks most definitely like Boggles. Uh, play an island, keep up counter spell. We could also tap if he like puts all his things on one land. We could tap that land at beginning upkeep on the following turn, which is actually not a terrible idea because we're just buying time until we get a Stonehand dignitary, right? Because we could lock him out of the game at that point. Uh, yeah, we'll just counter that. Counter spell. Hit us for one. Makes No, no hitting us for one? Okay. Uh, that is great. Oh my god, that's pretty good. Yeah, right? Just ice one of these. That's also pretty good for, like, destroying a land that has a bunch of enchantments on it. There's a lot of different ways we can attack this. Okay. Gonna pick white, sure. Serial armor, sure. Okay, so we're definitely destroying that land, right? Getting rid of another enchantment. We'll get rid of the enchantment. This is going to work out really good in our favor. I didn't realize how good this matchup is. This matchup is ridiculously good in our favor, right? Yeah, we'll take the three. Sure. Yeah, oh, we're going to destroy that one, actually. <laughs> wait, wait, we can block them out. I don't know, do we... I'll come out of all colors. Nah, yeah, we destroy this one. Alright, so let's go land. Cleansing wildfire that one. Then we'll lie to hope destroy this enchantment. He's probably thinking, who the hell runs this type of deck? I feel like we love the jank. Uh, but yeah, pretty soon we're going to have our Kamancer into like Light of Hope twice, which is going to be pretty good. We got Bonders Ornament to get long-term card advantage. A braid does pretty much nothing, sadly, but I mean, it's nice to have. Uh, yeah, we'll take it. Sure. Uh, yeah, I like the idea of this into... Um, Light of Hope. Pass turn to them. Maybe he just, like, maybe we draw nothing, right? Which could happen, and he just kills us with this 3 one, Which would be impressive overall. I would not, I mean, like, it happens, right?
I mean, I guess we could use these light hopes to gain life too, so I mean, it's going to be pretty hard for him to do this. What do we have? I mean, we definitely get another light of hopes, throwing her dignitary. Uh, sure. But we're going to destroy that, so. Alrighty. Take the three. We still got, what, four turns after this? Yeah, so we're definitely going to go... We want to keep our life total high, so we're going to go uh, Archaeomancer into Light of Hope. Then we're going to play um, Chancery. And we're going to Wing for one, I think, right? If we get Ephemerate, then that should be game in our favor, I think, at that point, right? He plays another land, which sucks. Really sucks that he's drawing so many lands. We'll take the three, sure. Uh, Stornorn Dignitary, think, wins the game for us? Maybe? Kinda? We're going to play Bonner's Ornament. And we're going to play Stonehorn Dignitary. Going to pass the turn to him. Okay, plays a land. I mean, it's kind of like playing a land, right? Plays a Boggles, sure. Nothing after the Boggles up? Okay. We go... So you get Oracle, looking for Ephemerate mostly, but Counterspell would be good as well. Take the Counterspell. We'll play another... Um, Bonders Ornament. And then... I th I think we just swing with everyone, right? Put it down. I mean, we're at what? Eat now? Uh, we still have Light of Hope to gain life. I think we can win this race with Light of Hope, right? Uh, we will just straight up counter that. Because we need a Light of Hope to, uh, Gain life if we're gonna do the race. We're gonna take three, right? We'll take it, sure. Uh, we take three, like I said. We brainstorm. Find another Stormhorn Dignitary, so we go this one and then this one. We play the Stormhorn, right? Make it so he skips his combat phase. We use a Preordain. We buy a Braid. Yes to Preordain. And we will attack for four. Okay. All right, another ledge walker, sure. Gives their combat, and then our turn again. Uh, breath of life, so thing we can get one of our creatures to die, right? Attack first, see what happens. They take four, go down to six. We preordain. Bottom. Bottom. Mold Drifter is great. Pass turn to them, I guess. Act like we have counterspell. Act like we have a bunch of other stuff. 
We can completely block this guy. And through. Uh, let's uh, brainstorm real quick. See if we can find Ephemerate. Uh, counterspell is fine. We'll counterspell that. If he has an enchantment on top of this, then we might lose. Definitely gonna block. Gotta attack with everyone, or else I won't block. Uh, I mean, I'll block because I got this uh, Breath of Life, which is really what I want to use. Okay, so. Uh, Breath of Life seems really cool. So preordain. Uh, top top. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Both of those win in the game for us. Well, uh, let's just swing. Or four, keep one back, and then we have counter spell and uh, light of hope to finish the game with. Pass turn to them. Um, no, thank you. Just counter spell. That'd be good enough to win it. Just don't make a mistake. Block. Block. We take two, go down to one. He scoops. Okay. Like I said, we definitely like this. Like this. Do we like Swirling Sandstorm? I don't think so. Braids are bad. I kind of like these for tapping his land at the beginning of his turn type of thing. So we're going to run it like this and see how it goes. All right. Um, well, we're definitely mulganing. This hand's much better. We'll keep. Um, I'm going to get rid of Ash Barons. Forest. We play this for blue white. Ledge Walker. I think we do this for blue red. Preordain. Bottom. Top. Two. Sure. Uh, that's a great draw. We'll play a land. Uh, beginning of his turn, I think we tap one of these. On that. So if he does draw a land enchantment, he can't uh, land enchant it. Okay, so he can land enchant that then. That's fine. Alright, uh, we should do brainstorm put at least one island and this on bottom because we're going to use the preordain to put the both of those at bottom I'll fire no He's up. By the way, we got the lock already, so depending on what they do. Sure. I like that. Uh, we will lock them out. We find some counter spells or stuff like that real soon. We're going to fetch a white, by the way.
Well, we can he can attack this turn anyway. Let's go fetch a white. Let's... Emory... This dude... Evoke Mole Drifter, Ephemerate that. Cards. Play this for white. See what he does from this point on. Think about how we're going to kill him if we're just going to like keep cycling through his lands. Or just... You know, lie to hope everything and then start swinging. I don't know. Lots of choices. But it's going to be extremely hard and we'll need very specific sideboard cards for him to win at this point. Alright, so I am through to get rid of Mole Drifter. Sure. Bill can't play anything. We go ephemerate twice on this guy, right? Doesn't really change anything. I mean, that seems like a waste of a dispel. It is a waste of a dispel. Now we're just open to do whatever we want, which is... Idaho, destroy this enchantment. Play an island. Play Archaeomancer, go get Ephemerate, Ephemerate, Ephemerate. We uh, misclicked that, we could have done another. No armor, sure. Makes it 2 2. Passes his turn. This guy. Ephemerate in response. We'll go get Light of Hope this time. I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, this is for all the marbles. If we win this one, we're 3 2. Um, we will keep. It's pretty good. to uh mountain so that's what we'll do this is blue black with germag anglers okay um all right let's do this one this one for red? Yeah. Or we should have done that for white. I'm not really sure. If he focuses more on Gurmangiglers, I don't feel as bad, to be honest. Because I feel like we can beat that pretty easily. By pretty easily, I mean I think we can stop it with, like, tapping it and whatnot. He is a ninja, this would suck, but we can kill it next turn. We're going to... Uh, cleansing fire... The swamp. He doesn't run that many, if I remember. On dignitary route. Yep, that's a thing. Maybe we black all together. Okay, plays a agro bullish. Sure. Duffin King is nothing for him. He got another thought scout. Okay. We will take the one, sure. Playing the uh, Stonehorn Dignity. Causes him not to be able to attack. 
Gives us a really good blocker. Island. I'm guessing he has a Gurmag Angler now? Alright, so he found himself a Gurmag Angler. Uh, we will... Play ourselves a Moldrifter while he's tapped out. Take the five. Come out. We're just trying to whittle down his cards. Okay, so he does an Ash Barons at the end of turn. Rose. But unless he has Snuff out, we're just going to take it. Sure. Okay, he does. All right. All right. Emerate so, this. Romancer. Go get that back. Play this. Return this. Preordain. Sure. I'm gonna guess that the suffocating fumes is gone. Alright, I definitely like King Fire for getting rid of this. He just straight say cast down that. Sure. And play Bonders Ornament. We'll play Cleansing Fire on this. Uh, we got Brainstorm into Ash Barons on his end of his turn now. That seems great. Sure. Uh, let's brainstorm. Get rid of these two us, then Ash Barons for an island. Island. Alright, a cleansing fire. Hey, maybe that's his last black source. Play Stonehorn Dignitary. Counterspell. Okay, then we'll go for Ephemerate. He might be out of black. All his black spells are going to be useless now. Which buys us hella time. I mean, we need another cleansing fire, but... Turn. One, two... Oh, so we're probably... Playing right into one, is how I'd guess. Let's ephemerate now. Then we'll go get Let's go and play. Uh, Bonder's Ornament, and then beginning of his turn, uh, Ice This. Alright, uh... For the Ephemerate.
Mold Drifter is pretty good. Mold Drifter. He gets a Thought Scour this time. Sure. Our counter spell. In. See what we draw. Memorate's pretty good. Play with land. Probably going to game. Probably. Deep analysis. All right. Well, maybe I can get him to mill. A card. Okay, at least we're not drawing. Uh, well, we'll go for this. Uh, sir. For ephemerate now, then. Encounter spells that. We draw a card, a braid, go fetch for an island, pass turn to them. Is this 17? Use deep analysis, sure. Then at least seventeen. All right, so he's got it. Good game, GG's, bro. All right, so I think we want pyroblast and swirling sandstorm and dispel. I don't think we need. Uh, Idaho. Not a big fan. I mean, these are okay. We could probably take this out. Shade. No, let's shave one dignitary. All right, run it like that. Sure. Would like to play first. We will keep. Hands not bad actually. It's pretty good. He plays land like he's doing anything else. Uh we'll go land land. Play land pass turn after them uh we'll go s we'll go searching for just so we can get something else then drawing a mountain you know We for white really need to get one of our draws. He brainstorms, sure. And a turn like the other island and hope we just draw well so we're gonna go fetch for a plane right 
We're going to ice his land turn. I mean, that's actually pretty good. That's really good, actually. That can give us a lot of, like, card advantage. That's perfect. Now it's all up. He's going for a preordain, sure. He dispels. We dispel his dispel. He counterspells our... Okay. We have Moldrifter plus Ephemerate up, I guess. Light. Sure. All right, so we go for the Stonehorn Dignitary, right? We play Evolving Wild. So, I mean, we didn't, we just pressed Y, he just skipped all the way through. We messed up by not cracking this evolving one. We get preordain. Uh, top, top. We're gonna go for the um, Seagate Oracle. We're gonna take the dispel if this resolves. Or maybe we should have taken the okay answer. No, I kind of like dispel more right now. I'm going to just play the Ash Barons at this point. We want to play as many lands as possible. So it makes later Brainstorms way weaker, but I think this is fine. So he's going to swing for five. We will block with Seagate Oracle. Go get another island. See what happens. Um, we will definitely play that. It gives us another Trump blocker and draws us a card. Seems pretty good. Uh, we'll take Moldrifter. We'll play Moldrifter next turn while keeping up Ephemerate and Dispel for this turn. Thank you very much. We will not do the Bonders Ornament because we're going to draw plenty of cards. We just need to keep our mana open. We Dispel. Last turn after that, I guess, right? No, nah, let's uh let's preordain. Um, I kinda like both. <laughs> so pass turn. We'll take the five because that's better. Touche. Um, well, we're gonna go for Breath of Life? No, or do we go for Ephemerate? Okay, he just concedes. Alright. Uh, I think we run it back. I think this is fine. We can stop aggressive, like an aggressive start, and we got a Seagate Oracle. I kind of want to keep this. Uh, 
Uh, we're going to. Uh, maybe a Delver. Delver would be great. No? Okay. Um, I kind of want to... No, now that we drew the island, we keep up Counterspell, right? And then we go for Sega Oracle next turn. We already have enough lands, so. He plays an Augur Bolus, sure. He gets a Thought Scour, sure. Nothing after that. Uh, we are just gonna play the Chancery while we get a chance this turn, and we will pass turn to them. I'm gonna counter that. Braided. Play this. Pass turn to them. Ponder, sure. We're gonna go get a blue and we're gonna ice this. With the hope to draw something better. Brainstorm kind of helps set that up. Brainstorm, we're hoping for... Yes. I mean, now we preordain. Bottom, top. Poke it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go top. Um, yeah, we can go Breath of Life with uh, Pyroblast and Dispel Up on Mole Drifter. That seems great. Can't get much better. Alright, so Breath of Life, Mole Drifter. We're gonna use uh, all we can. Then we're going to dispel the Hydroblast. It's going to put us in a really good spot. Yep. Yes, it does. Pass turn to them. We're winning the card advantage race. And we're ahead on the field. So that's both good things that we want. You know, I'm guessing it's a Gurmag Angler. Okay. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna brainstorm real quick. See what we can find. Do it that way. Uh, we will. Get a land, play the land. Um, ring for two in the air. I think we just need them to empty out their hand best we can, so we're just gonna keep playing cards. Okay, he just concedes after that. Sure. All right. So we won three two. Uh, the way I'm going to set up this video is I'm going to put the two games we lost at the end. I made some misplays as well as like, uh, it, like I just made some general mistakes. If you would like to watch them, just continue watching. Uh, for everyone who just wanted to watch the wins or just wanted to watch a few games, I appreciate you watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. All right. Yes, we'd like to go first. Okay, what is our plan with this hand? I kind of want to, I mean, we have 
lands and spells, but these spells are kind of useless. So really, would you keep a hand with these four? Probably not. I mean, not unless it was your last four. So let's mulligan. This is much better. We'll keep this. We'll get rid of a mole drifter. Um, we might need the Stormhome Dignitary to not die. So uh, let's go look for additional lands or early interactions. So Stormhome Dignitary on the bottom. I kind of want to find a different land rather than uh, Fire and Ice. So we're going to put that bottom too. Okay, see, I like that. Uh, that doesn't really do much. Go fetch a white land at the end of their turn. Okay, so we're playing in some sort of blue deck. Those Pyroblasts out of the sideboard are going to be... That is fine. We will go search for uh, planes, like I said. We will play Seagate Oracle next. Can hopefully for white land. I mean, Ephemerate's nice, but I think the land's more important. I mean, not white land, red land. Um, because we want to get to Mole Drifter, which is, you know, our best spell in this situation. He uses Snuff Out. And he has a ninja. Okay, hopefully we get an untapped land. Beginning of his turn, we're going to ice this guy. Right? Ice on this guy. If he wants to counter it, I'm okay with that. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that interaction. He doesn't get to draw another card. He doesn't gain light. I mean, he doesn't get to draw another card. He doesn't, uh... I mean, Counterspell would be our best, right? Counterspell or a land, right? The Seagate Oracle. And he Counterspells that. Okay. I mean, we could, we definitely can turn the corner at some point. It just, I definitely would like more land. That's without a doubt, you know? I want him to top out, tap out, but I doubt that's going to happen, you know? He goes top, bottom, so that means he can. We definitely want lands. Do it now. We just have to not draw like shit. Okay, another fairy, sure. Football. Uh, we will go get a red. That would be pretty good. It's a four. All right. Oh, this is the guy that had this list. Okay. So we're going to play this. We're going to bring in Dispel 2. 
Um, cleansing wildfire. I don't think we need right. Light of hope. Not really a huge fan of. I think we just run it like that, right? All right. Make our, you know, thing a little bit better. Yeah, we should be fine. Uh, we can keep this. This is fine. More likely we have a red spell we want to play first, early. Then we play an island. For white. All right. E <clears throat> we can fill our graveyard now, which is pretty good, um, with these lands. So that's probably what we'll do at some point. He goes brainstorm, sure. If he goes to eat it, then, uh, I think we go get blue already. Yeah, blue's fine because we've already got all the other colors that we need. Maybe we go get another red with this one. Uh, we will crack this, go get a red. All right, well, this feels kind of... Um, I think we'll lose this now. He's not doing anything at all, so... I mean, I guess we could just keep building our land total. Uh, last turn. What's stuck? Then we can. <laughs> and he knows what to look for and whatnot. But we're going to wait for him to progress his side of the field because us getting dropping a land every turn is really good. I would think, right? Because our spells are just bigger and better. Also, eventually we will get a braid for this, so... Let's... Let that resolve. It's fire. What really? Oh my god. <clears throat> um Yeah, that works, I guess. We'll get rid of pure. Yeah, sometimes they just have it, right? We'll go get another island. Have them eat the wing wilds. We'll play. Mole Drifter.
Uh, dispel. Pyroblast that. Alrighty, buddy. You got us. Two for the fact that, uh... Um... Yeah. Maybe we should have kept waiting. Oh, waiting. Like... Yeah, that's the game. He's got another one. Yeah. yeah that... Alright, I'll see you guys in the next match. Alright, yes, I'd like to play first. We will mulligan. We will keep this. I think we get rid of the island. Because this is more mana overall. Play this for blue red. When blue red, okay. I think we keep up counter spell, right? And then if nothing else, we have brainstorm. Okay, we're playing against Tron. Let's see if we work. Brainstorm. We're definitely getting rid of these. Right, we can get rid of those with preordain. Uh, pass turn to him. He goes impulse. Maybe we should have dispelled that. Maybe, yeah, we probably should have, right? Okay, and after that, it looks like we go, we play a land, go preordain. Bottom on that one, top on the Seagate Oracle. Let's just play the Seagate Oracle. Try to find a land. A braid's not bad either, but I kind of want the land. Make sure that we can play these uh, mold drifters. Okay. Another counter spell. I like that. Um play this. We'll go white this time. We'll attack for one. And pass turn to them. Okay, so I'm guessing, right, we can dispel that. End of his turn, if he hasn't tapped anything, we'll probably tap this land. Unwind. Okay, unwind's not bad. It's only bad if he draws the last piece. He did not have the last piece. So I like doing ice this turn. On this land. Add Okay, I mean, weather the storm's annoying, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. We still have plenty of ways to win this. I think we go get another red source with this, by the way. Now, yeah, see, now we're in trouble. Mold Drifter? Yeah, that makes perfect sense. We're not even going to counter that. We know he has a line.
Uh, nope. We can. If he blocks, just lie to help make this a uh, 2 4. Let's uh, turn to them. Uh, we will try to see if it resolves. We'll dispel that. He's gonna braid it, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think we let that resolve. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it is. It's what it is. I'd rather keep the counter spell for something more important. Uh, another land. Okay, these these cards are pointless. These cards we like. Rainstorm's really kind of good. We can get rid of these and shuffle them away. I would be pretty happy. Uh, so yeah, that's exactly what we can do. Play those. We'll get another island. Swing for one of that. He flashes back that, which is pretty good. He gets another mystical teachings, of course. He gets another mystical teachings. Okay. Uh, I think we're okay with that. Sure. I mean, we're not okay with it, but I mean, I don't think we really have it. Sure. We'll try ephemera. Uh, last turn. Okay, okay. I see you, I see you. The amount of value they're going to get is crazy, though. On <sighs> so many lands. At this point, though, he has the lock. And I'm not just conceding because they have interaction, right? I'm conceding because he has Ephemerate into Prohibit, which can counter both our stuff, as well as Ghostly Flicker with uh, Mole Drifter to out Carter draws. So he'll draw more cards per turn as well be able to counter all our spells. This is not conceding just to concede that he does have the lock. I'm going to concede this one and save our some time for match for game two and game three. He has enough mana. He's going to be able to stop what we want to do. This time, though, we can bring in the Hydroblast. We can bring in the Dispel. We can take out Stormhome Dignitary because that card is pointless in this matchup. Um, what else do we want? I mean, I don't think we really want Breath of Life. I guess it's a way... But we'll take out Fire and Ice then, I guess? Do we want the Hydro Blast over Fire and Ice? Yeah, probably. They have some red spells that we probably want to counter rather than 
have the tap ability. The tap ability is not terrible. No, we'll keep one of these over. Ah, I should take out Light of Hope. Yes, we'll play first. I mean, this hand's okay. We will keep it. Um, we'll go fetch an island and then Moldrifter turn three for evoke is probably the way we're gonna have to go about this. It is kind of slow though, which kind of sucks. All right, so he just plays. We're gonna preordain first. Kind of don't want either of these. Do I want them? All right, so ephemerate's good for later on, but we want some like the land destruction for the most part, right? And then hydroblast is a very specific counter spell, so I'd rather bottom both of those. Play the chancery. Return this. And then we're looking for, like I said, a very specific spell. All right, so we are gonna have to discard a card. But, um, with that, we will discard Light of Hope. Plays another. Well, let's go brainstorm. See what we can find. Right. Um, I mean, I think we put Island and Dispel on top, right? We play a land, we get Bonder's Ornament out there. Hopefully he doesn't destroy it next turn. He probably will, though, but we have Dispel to count, I mean, to block uh, a Braid, which is going to be pretty good. Uh, yeah, so I think we just do it like that. Like I said, when he goes for a braid, we can dispel that. Unless he has a counter behind it. Suck. Yep. Alright, well, we need a cleansing fire off the top now. Like, right now. Oh my god. Reordain. One on bottom, one top. Like. Damn answer. Go get. Reordain again. For next turn. I mean, I guess I'll just go for Ephemerate right now. This is so dumb. So dumb. I dislike this all day. We'll get red. Reordain. Bottom, top. You can just get card advantage though, which is stupid. No, no thank you. That okay, that I feel better now. At least can cleansing fire for it. I mean he we can arcane answer afterwards. Wow. Back for one, I guess. Hope he doesn't do anything too ridiculous.
to draw a card. Now he's deciding what he wants to do. Plays another Urza's Mind. Plays an Ulma Crusher. Uh, do we have anything in the deck that can kill that? 